Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Regrowth, and just watched everything just pop off there. Uh, it's been a few days since last episode. Uh, just been eh, basically just personal stuff taking up time, unfortunately. Uh, I made myself a scarecrow, though, from uh, Biomes of Plenty. It's just a melon block, a pumpkin, and some sticks, and I mean, just look at him. Uh, but. Hmm, that's weird. I'm not hearing any noises. The sound engine does occasionally crash whenever I'm playing, unfortunately. All right, so I did go ahead and get myself a poltergeist. Oh, hey, no, that sound worked. Okay, cool. Uh, and got crafting task for Scarecrow done, which is Tormented Twine was the hard part of this, but Disturbed Cotton. Basically, I had to give myself a nightmare and then uh, go get a bunch of cotton and bring it back. But, uh, like, it's annoying having to do that sometimes. Wish this stuff could, uh, grow in the overworld. And then we need subdued spirits, which I had to go grab more of those guys. And now it wants me to make a scarecrow voodoo protection. Uh, by inspector creatures to a scarecrow, trent effigy, or witch's ladder to create an effect. And this is our ritual here. And if we look at conjuration and fetishes, uh, then this is uh, the recipe for voodoo protection. Three spirits, a specter, a banshee, and a poltergeist. And I am not sure at this point. Am I just supposed to like... Oh yeah, okay. Right click these in here. Hope that's the right way. And then the specter. And then three of you. Nope. Okay, we don't do it that way. Oh, thank God I get him back. <laughs> that would have been bad if I didn't. Okay, so... Then, guessing, okay, so it was 3111, okay. And then we need a scarecrow and a tombstone, necromantic stone, and a bowline. So, go Banshee, Poltergeist, Spectre. I didn't put that one away. Uh, scarecrow, three subdued spirits, attuned, necromantic stone, bowline. It said no. Okay, great. Because uh, this book is supremely not very helpful. And same with this one. It just tells you what to do. It doesn't tell you how to do it. Uh, special creatures to a fetish to create permanent effects. It just says use the right of binding, which is this right here. All right, and it tells you the ingredients and the circle you need. And this just says, hey, go to page eight. So. All right, number of effects as can be read in. So there's that. Spectre, Poltergeist, Banshee. Toon stone, necromantic stone, and a scarecrow, and then bowline, right? And this just says a toon stone, so I'm guessing it doesn't need to be a charged stone, but if it doesn't work again, we're going to switch out and try the attuned stone. Yep, see, it just copped everything back up. So it might actually need the attuned stone then, or the charged attuned stone, which, here we go. Oh, did I throw that? I might not have, actually. Hmm. So, let's try that again here. Tuned, boom, boom, and a scarecrow. Yep, see it. Insufficient power. Really? Oh. Huh. It apparently it was burning my uh, altar power, even though it wasn't doing anything. All right, just check my altar. It's got the power now. Um, so 
It was attuned neck match. Oh, actually, that was charged. Dang it, wrong one. Okay, let me try it again. A tombstone necromantic scarecrow bowline. Yeah, see, it spat that back out. So it's got to be a charge stone. It's just the book isn't saying it the right way. And yeah, that just drained a ton of uh, ultra power. We should have enough to try one more time, though, right? So necromantic charged bowline scarecrow. Unknown right. Okay, no, actually, I guess it was right. Uh, let's go ahead and put our charge stone away then. The other thing I can think of is it might need to be nighttime. Since it is using like a necromantic stone and everything, it might not work during the day. You know, I just had an epiphany and I feel really smart. I'm not used to the imperfect ritual over here being a thing still. Wait a second. Did it seriously say, wow. Blocks of Lapis have a Harvest of Lithomium. That's just nuts. Um, if you place those by accident early in the game, yeah, you're SOL. Uh, I've got that ritual right there. I could have made it nighttime without a problem. Instead of waiting. Oh, well, I did need to recharge my altar, so. All right, so it was a tune, dune, dune, and do. Nope. Failed. Splat. Okay. Did it actually go ahead and use alt altar power for that? It did, but it used up slightly less than half. Okay. So then let's try it with all the bits and bobs then. Yeah, no, see, it's just spitting everything out. All right, so I'm going to try something else then. Uh, let's see. Where is the moon at? Oh, wow, it's all the way over there. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to drop the four ingredients we need there. Actually, first, we're going to drop a slime ball, redstone, ritual, unknown right. Really? Oh, it's because it re requires a 7x7, seven seven, which I have. What the heck? Really? Unknown right. Wow, that's, um, right, okay, seven by seven with white chalk, and that's what this inner ring is, is a seven by seven. Huh, okay, well, let's go ahead and do this, and we've got Poltergeist, Spectre, Banshee, Spirits. Can I treat these like a spawn egg? Yep. Nope. Didn't work. And I almost died, I just realized. Huh. Spirits take fall damage. Look at that. It just it just dropped chainmail. Alright. So the right of imprisonment didn't work. Completely just not even accepted as a ritual. Uh, do we have like a trap of some kind or... Uh, no, that's... Bear traps. Okay, from Witchery. I could probably get things to hold still inside of these. All right, it's nighttime and... Yes, a cobblestone box. Oh, they got out. They got out. That's no good. No. Freaking Banshee killed me once already. But, uh... Yeah. 
Let me see if I can... There we go. And... A Tombstone, Necromantic, Scarecrow, Bowline. Ah, stop it. It's bypassing Absorption Hearts, too. That's not great. Uh, give me regen. It's only 30 seconds, but it's the super overpowered region. So, all right. So I got all the stuff down there. Oh, frick. Really? Stupid thing. Like, insta-touch, 25 hearts damage. <laughs> All right. All right, well, here goes nothing. Okay, ah, dang, I should not have done that because I don't have a pick on me right now. Kind of hoping that I can unsubdue these three... And starts a ritual. And block it up. And it did not work. Ah, oh, what is up with this stupid thing? Yeah, it just spat everything back out. There's all my stuff right there, so. Uh, turns out if you place a block on top of a gravestone, it insta breaks it. Which I guess could be handy if you want to get your stuff back in a hurry, but right now all my stuff's right there. All right. Finally got it. I had to do the ritual three more times, and I guess something just wasn't lined up perfectly or whatever. But uh, I was my demon one. Here we go. Uh, we got a spectral stone and three more subdued spirits. Did we get anything? Oh, a couple poltergeist. Okay, cool. And some of the fetish effects are rather lackluster to the point where you feel like experimenting. In case where bigger is better. Ritual binding to bind five of each spectral creature to a fetish. Five of each, huh? Oh, give me Binky Skull, though. Okay, it's the death fight. Boss fight. Uh, which is actually what I wanted to get done before taking on Leonard. And these last two still haven't opened up. Okay. Nothing new there. Might need to get an ant now too. I'm not sure what is going to unlock, you know, further on. So, because right now it's, I'm basically, I'm stuck doing witchery until I can figure out, you know, which quest is going to unlock, you know, like academy craft and AE and all that fun stuff. All right. Well, let's see. Five of each, huh? Are you... You're my two banshees, two poltergeist. Okay. Oh, this is going to take forever. Well, it's a dark and stormy night. And I've got a friend. Hey. Shove off. I've been hiding up in this tree and he's just... Yep. And he just wants to piece of me. Why is there a cow out? Quit bone mealing all the grass around here. You are a sturdy little bugger, aren't you? Wow, 200 health, huh? Hey, cool. Oh, nice. We got a, uh, a Roman sapling at him, too. All right, where'd that cow go? There you are. How dare you get loose? <laughs> I think it was bone mealing all my grass while I was wandering around, too. All right. Um... But we finally got ourselves an int twig. And uh, what was it? 
how the world grows. Oh, it didn't count, really. I mean, the quest isn't unlocked yet, but usually these will count, even though... All right, fine. Uh, let's see. Is it changes was the other one? I needed an ant twig for something. That was a rose here, this one. And that is netherwort ant twig mutandus extremis. Do I have any of that left? No, I have regular mutandus left. And netherwort mutandus in a cauldron. Okay. So I'm going to need uh, two of these. There we go. And. Yep, okay. Did it? Yep, it did. It just popped up to him. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Another word. Are you complaining because there's not enough water? You might be. And now you're not going to work. Really? Get in there. Ugh. And this is just, yeah. The unrandom bucket. So we'll just do... I can't even put it down, really? Oh, that's annoying. All right. Uh, here. You go there. And somewhere in here I should have some glass bottles, right? Oh, by the way, don't let a poltergeist wander around. Uh, they will actually pull things out of your boxes and throw them on the ground. I can't even do that. Okay, you know what? I should just break this, right? You bastard. Give it back. <laughs> oh. oh, just fail on so many fronts right now. All right. Freaking, there went my cauldron. Oh, that's right. It was the the gunk, right? Uh, the stuff, anointing paste. Let me come over this way. We will throw that on the ground. And... So what is this stuff? Just water bottle? Okay. Wasn't sure if it was going to be like a colored water bottle or what, but... Okay. Try it again. Another wart. Nutantis. There it goes. I'm going to need another nether wart now. Netherwort in twig mutandus. Hey, we get the mutating sprig. All right. Specific configurations to make it need about 30, 80 ultra power. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, we got Critter Snare, and we've got the Grasper. Trap plants, pretty much. Uh, place a chest above a block of water with long grass on each side. Meeting Sprig. On the chest. Okay. And... Yeah, right here's probably good, right? Can do that. Uh, the fun part is going to be getting the box where I want it to go. Let me do this way then. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Long grass on each side. 
Left click does nothing, right click just opens the chest. Alright. I just got a pastor seat, cool. Uh, yeah, that's... That... Okay. Above a block of water. Uh, is long grass different from tall grass? That's eel grass. Uh, yeah, no, I'm guessing it means tall grass. We got grass and grass. So yeah, it's normal grass. Is it maybe that one messing with things too? Nope. Uh, do I have to like... Okay, yeah, right. Well, moving on. Spiders web above a block of water, surrounded with alder saplings, and then ensnare a zombie in the web. Right, okay. This one definitely seems like the easier one of the bunch. Hey, come do this for me. All right, fine, be that way. Do I have to have this, like... Hmm. No idea what's going on here. Isn't there a tree book on plants or something or other? Scientium. Got... Okay. Still in collecting fumes. Which is bruise, book of biomes. All right, uh, books, right? Witching gadgets, okay. Not what I'm going to worry about right now. Uh, here we go. We've got bruising infusions, circle magic, distilling, collecting fumes. Herbology. That's the one. Let me... Okay. Yeah, we have not made the herbology book yet. So I need a book... Black dye and a stick. Okay. Well. Need a poppy, and a dandelion, a stick, and a black dye. All right. So poppy on top. And that was probably a quest as well, so. Gwentweed, Mandrake, Snowbell. Uh, Grasper. Some tall grass and an empty chest. Hmm, actually, oh, there we go. I was going to say, I actually didn't think I had some, but. Nope. And... Roses and a leech chest. Alder saplings, a web and a zombie. So then, critter snare bat. Oh, okay, and a spawn wolf egg. Spider's web above a block of water, placing snared bats to the sides of the web. Place four graspers at the corners of the square, and in them place a charge to tombstone and three mutantus extremists. Get the wolf caught in the web and right-click the web with your mutating sprig to turn the bats into owls. 
Okay. Well, it's two to four ensnared small slime. So that's going to be a fun little thing now, isn't it? Yeah, see, that's, I'm doing that exactly. And it's just like, nope. Unless it wants, like, tall grass all around it, maybe? Because everything else is mentioning to uh, surround the chest. Well, it's trying. You can see a damage bar shows up on the mutating sprig for a second. Okay, that just it just breaks this piece of grass here. Oh. See, it's trying to do something. But I have no idea, you know, it, it's not doing anything. Let me go ahead and take that back there. There we go. Empty chest. Okay. And yes, yeah, around on all four sides at least. Uh, bowline. There we go. Hey, we got graspers. All right, cool. That's that one done. All right, now these were... Only one of these four quests can be completed. Okay. Kettle recipe. Okay, that's pretty basic, right? Uh, all creatures do your bidding. Sacrifice them to gain their abilities. Teleport you both yourself and other things. And fusion, you can create barriers and platforms from thin air. And a teleporting kind of sounds nice, but I've got flight, so. Enslaving manipulation of earth and metals. Yeah, maybe soul of the world. All right, so. We got Soul of the World done, and yep, Swish and Flick. And now I gotta get another Int, dang it. Uh, that'll give us a Witch's Hand though, which I guess is okay. Uh, I got a couple of them around too already, so I'm not too concerned about it right now. And I got those from something. All right. I still need to find Witch Hunters. Since you to employ them to deal with problematic vampires and werewolves. Okay. Well, that's not that handy. Unless they spawn around villagers. Hmm. No idea. Maybe I should get together a bit of a village or something. Oh, wait, wait. I know where you are. You are here. Yes, hello you. <laughs> you're there, but you're not. Okay. Here, did you want to come out of there? No, I can't interact with you either. Yeah, you're stuck. Sucks to be you. Is this... No, dang it, that was not working. Okay. Uh, this system over here, by the way, I don't think I mentioned it yet. Uh, the osmium doesn't actually melt in a crucible furnace. It, uh, it has no recipe at all. We can melt it in smeltery, but that's kind of it. 
So I just head up uh, over here just so I can grab it whenever I want. I just have been going through and uh, just grabbing like a stack of it at a time or whatnot and running it through a furnace because, well, why not? I don't really need tons of osmium unless I decide to go all out on mechanism, which I might have to. I don't know. But, uh, have to wait and see on that one. And nope. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, this is Sign signing out. Have fun.